I wonder, are you able to open, this is going to be crazy, maybe three separate windows? <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah, okay. actually, well, speaking of uh, arc, uh, you can do that, so. Oh, uh, wow. Okay, is it the I, same page? I literally page downloaded or? it like two days ago. Yeah, same okay. page, I think, and you just click, we'll just click different roles. Like I said, it's okay. ugly, and it might not be the exact experience that everyone will have but i'm like i'm just trying to like show and then we can like okay. look at the code too okay i'm just gonna put something random okay so Perfect. cool okay let me since we've got the three there I, since we're not using the code right now i'll just do yeah, this we can and just do these three yeah and then after okay. that we can look back at the code cool like on one side click the issuer and that's going to be or the issuer button Okay, let's cool. click on that. Okay. okay, perfect. And then let's choose subject in the middle and then let's choose verifier on the right hand. Okay, okay. I'll just shrink cool. it a little bit. Okay, there. Cool, yeah, that like I said, it's not clean, but that's okay. <laughs> it's okay, um, it works. Yeah, so on one side, I'm pretending the issuer is like, I, I couldn't really think of like who's the person that's issuing like that you're able to drink, but I was like maybe the DMV because they they got your ID details right. So yeah, they they'll say like they'll give you the credential, and then their subject will be you, right? Because you're the one that wants to be able to drink, and then the verifier, okay. um, that's the person that they they want to make sure that yes, like we're not giving alcohol to someone who is under age so maybe that's the bar or maybe that's like you went to the grocery store or something and try to buy alcohol so go okay, ahead yeah. and like fill out your information on the okay. left hand side and while uh, you do I, that i'll just also point out to people that notice that each um each person or entity has their own decentralized identifier and right. like that's like their id on this Oh no, you have right. to show your age. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Uh, it's okay. I can put a fake one. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not that I really care, but if po folks want to see, I'm almost 50. So, uh, all right, there we go. You can wish me a happy birthday on October 26th. There you go. Oh, wow. Happy almost birthday. All right. And then you can make uh, up a city or country if you want. That's uh, okay. Uh, all right. Hopefully that's not too much information. I mean that that a lot of that information is publicly available, I think anyway. So too okay, late. Cool. It's already on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then we that last one that says subjects did, you want to take your decentralized identifier from the second page. Um of okay. course, if we had like the whole wallet thing set up easily, it'll be much easier and you wouldn't have to like copy and paste, but this is just to okay. show that the the process right so we're saying okay. okay department of motor vehicles is going to give you a, a verifiable credential that you can drink so you can do issue okay. credential and then okay. if you scroll it gives you a signed jwt or signed jot okay um, yeah and actually yeah if you want to copy it yeah it doesn't show any feedback yeah. Do you want to, yeah. I'm going to make you open one more, one more thing right, before good. we issue it. Oh, but you issued it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, whoops, I just want to <laughs> go into, well, we can look at this, right? On the subject side. Yeah. Um. Well, actually, let's go to, let's go to the other thing that I was going to show so that okay, I can, cool. yeah. Um, so basically we have a sign jwt or jot whatever i don't know how do you say jot or jwt i say jwt because it's json web token but i've heard people say jot too so me too yeah. i say i say jwt okay cool i i recently heard people say jot and i'm like hmm, I, I never <laughs> heard that <laughs> oh, wait but um if you um if you go to one more browser i i swear I'm, oh no it's all good so many cool i just want to show what's inside of that json web token we're basically encoding it so that no one can tamper with it okay and i think that's like the um you can go to um like google and then like 
I forget what it's called. Let me just double check. Jason Web Token. Uh, or I think it's like JWT.io. That's okay. what it is. Just so we can see like what's inside of it. And you can paste that that JSON web token into um right there right where it there. says encoded, like delete all that. Okay. And paste it. Right. right. So basically what you've done as the issuer or what's the department of motor vehicles has done as the issuer is they created a verifiable credential and then they signed it saying like yes for sure we're the ones that issued this to nick uh, we use okay. our decentralized identifier nobody else can pretend and if you look at the payload you can see like the details of like that's the issuers did and the date yeah. that they did it and all that okay yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And I see it's got the information and. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I think the issuance yeah. date is it the same? Does it say January twenty fourth or? Uh, yeah, it does here. Yeah, it does. Cool. 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 And you could even put like an expiration date too if you were like, this expires okay. at a particular time. Yeah. So that, that that's, that's actually uh. Sorry, I was just gonna say that's an interesting use case. I know there's other things that do that too, but like having it at just having it expires could be pretty neat for certain things like hey you have access to this uh to this event and then like but it's only for today you know or yeah yes exactly i think that um angie and ace are going to like do a workshop and they're going to okay. issue a verifiable credential where you can get swag and it'll expire at a like after the workshop or something like that so like oh, basically cool. what you're thinking yeah Oh, okay, cool. Oh, cool. So I just wanted to show you that, but you can close that window with the with the okay. JSON web token. I just wanted to like show you that what's being parsed. Okay, okay. cool. Cool. So like you now you have this um j this um verifiable credential, and if you scroll down, um you see that that that's like the little card I made, <laughs> and then okay. you have a QR code. What I was trying to do. Um, we'll yeah. do the phone app afterwards, but what I was okay, trying to cool. do was make you be able to store that credential in your phone. Um, but it has to be a certain type of verifiable credential. Like you have to format it in a certain way and I didn't have enough okay. time. And I think it's a, it's a bigger, um, lift than I think it is. <laughs> so okay, okay. I like, <laughs> I, it has to be something called like an OID um for okay. vc yeah so like it's like an open id for verifiable credentials type of format okay. i wasn't able to do that yet but we can still like do a demo process after and then so yeah, you have cool. that as yourself yeah and like if you pretended you scanned your phone you got that qr code you saved it in your phone then you can go to the alcohol vendor and go ahead and like paste your jwt inside of the alcohol vendor side Okay. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's cool. And I know there's a few people that joined. So oh, uh, I, I'm just going to no, no, it's all good. Uh, I'm just going to try and recap and, and please correct me if any of the logic's wrong. But uh, so, so we have three things we do. We have the, uh, it, is it the, there's the issuer, the subject is me, right? And then yeah, there's the, verif true. the verifier. Is that it? Yeah. 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 That's okay. Correct. Yeah. So yeah. So for folks just joining, because I know a few just popped in. So we're working. Uh, Rizal had this has this app she created, which basically verifies if you're allowed to drink. So like if you were purchase alcohol or enter a bar. And so I filled out my information. I yeah, we're, we're pretending like I'm doing this at the DMV or some government office. And so the government has their own uh, did, which is digital identifier and that's this decentralized uh, identifier uh, decentralized thank you um and that's basically the keys to say yes we are real and so like assume this was me like on their site or maybe i'm at the dmv or something and they're getting me to fill this out i fill it out and then like i submit it and they go okay thank you and then there's this verification process and then it generates a jwt or or jot uh json web token and 
this can be used to verify um, if you yeah. if the information you entered is correct. And it's all with all these technologies, it's all encrypted. So it's not like, you know, maybe at some point in the future, like anything eventually gets hacked. But like the way it's set up, it's like it's pretty much impossible right now to pull out this information unless you're the owner of the information. Um, that's kind of how I understood. It. Is that seem OK? Yeah. Yeah, I think okay. that seems OK. I just got distracted because I realized it said legal drinking age. No, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> that's because i have like a a ternary in there and i think i put it the opposite way i think i put no yes yeah she, yes no. <laughs> she, she's she's like okay if nick enters in the information he's not allowed to drink beer that, i think that's what happens so uh, anyways all good all good uh yeah uh, yeah uh, people are still asking about the dmv uh, chrissy's like there's no there's a dmv in canada and I, i'm just responding not sure what it's called in canada so i <laughs> I, I I've enjoyed the stream, but I didn't realize how how fascinated people would be. Like like, what's the, where do you get your driver's license in Canada? So, anyways, <laughs> I was thinking about it the whole time that I was like building out this app. I'm like, I wonder what what Nick like has to do. Like, does he go to the DMV? Do they call it something else? <laughs> but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So violated violated sign. Who? Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, has been joining my streams pretty frequently lately uh, appreciate it there's uh yeah he's he's saying uh thanks for the recap this super cool project and then exciting to uh i can't see the under the closed pin here exciting something how can it be applied on a broader scope so uh i've pinned uh Rizal's, uh repo that is this demo app um yeah i guess yeah so i guess uh violated signs uh questions kind of like we're doing this example of of a uh, pretend, you know, verify if you're of legal drinking age. But uh, they're curious about like other applications of like Web five technologies. I don't know if you want to speak to that, Rizal, or yeah, I mean, particularly for verifiable credentials, they can be used for employment. I know that TBD is um, trying to use them for financial transactions. Um, okay. But here's an example, right? On LinkedIn right now, you can verify that you work at a company. You can do that with your email, but I also realize that they're using um, this thing called Microsoft Entra ID. I think that's what it's called, but that's like a verify. That's a type of verifiable credential to like okay. to, to basically say yes, this person does work at the company. So there's lots yeah. of different use cases. Anything you want to verify to prove your identity and prove a credential about yourself, you can use a verifiable credential for. Okay, yeah, gotcha. It almost seems like a, I, I, it's not the official term I know, but I'd almost call it like your internet passport, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I think that that sounds pretty um, like a good way to describe it. Um, and if you just paste that, that jaw into the verifier, it should just say like yeah this is this person's good okay yeah so successful go. yeah cool cool also uh yeah. sh shout out to Rizal. she whipped up this app really quickly so she was saying like don't mind the design and stuff it's it's yeah. super functional and things are working but uh i do appreciate you putting putting this together because uh we we were chatting for the stream and she, and like she literally sent me this about an hour and a half ago like hey why don't we try this so so none, none of this has been like practice or anything so uh pretty pretty awesome that everything's working so 